Hello everyone, welcome back to another Data State video. Today we're going to be unlocking the C skin on Mamba by playing with all of his curses. I got a couple comments asking me to do a video on how to unlock the C skin. So for example here in Cordelia, the C skin. It's super simple. You just enable all the curses on the character that you want and you complete a run with them. It's also, you can look a lot of these things up on the wiki for Dead Estate, but it really doesn't warrant a full video. I just explained how to do it for every single character. Um, and then, yeah, you just beat the game with the curses enabled. Um, as per tradition, though, I do want to show off a little bit of my game here. There I am. So this is the jungle area in my game. I was able to change around some levels, implement them back into my game, and, and work on some of the level design issues. And it was super fun, although I think I still have a little bit of tweaks to do. I cut out to later in the video. There, I'm just getting overwhelmed by these uh, jungle terror groups. They just, yeah, and they kill me right there. But hey, go ahead and wishlist my game. I forgot the most important part. It's on Steam. Here's the uh, Steam page. Uh, it is coming out in a couple of months. So if you like roguelikes, if you like games like Dead Estate, I highly recommend you go and give my page some love. All right, let's head back in here. And let's unlock Mumba's sea skin. So I figure right, we did Mumba must die last time. Never ever doing this difficulty level again. I'll play on Nightmare, but I'm not gonna play on Mumba must die. Uh, I'll do Nightmare runs. Those aren't too bad. And we're gonna go his. I mean, I really like his B skin. All the curses are enabled. Doubles his damage. He has one HP. Starts with two random items. And he has the sex gun. It's pretty awesome. All right. Sorry. There we go. Nightmare. We're good to go on this run. So what nasty smoothie do I have today? I have a delicious smoothie, actually. It is very green. It is just mango pineapple and then, like, some green powder. Okay. Our shot speed is so low, actually. What the heck? Our fire rate or whatever it is, attack speed. It is very low. We have a great gun, but it is very low. I wonder if it's because of the items we got. Increases damage and fire rate for your... Dude, we have an increase in damage and fire rate on our default weapon, and it still shoots like this. That's insane. It's only doing... I'm dead. But it was only doing 15 damage. Also, that sucks. I, I should have been uh, focused more on playing the game and less on commentary. Um, let's try that again. He fires with you, and I get a shield. That is a great start to a one health run. Let me tell you that. Um, let's let's actually be careful here. So I want to be quick here because I don't want chunks to spawn. But thankfully, in nightmare mode, it still is. It's plausible to to get pretty far in to a floor without chunk spawning. Um, dang, this is such a slow gun, though. I don't I don't like that. I swear the sex gun usually does not shoot this slow. That's crazy to me. Okay. Just got to jump around and guide him here for a little bit. There we go. What do we got in here? A good... I don't know what that does. That's like a new item. Maybe from either this update or the last update. It is fun getting to like experience and explore the game. and Because I, I do have a lot of stuff with me. I did read the wiki, but like still being able to like, I don't know, do it all myself and figure out all these little questions and, and weird hacks and bugs. And it's fun. I enjoy it. Okay, yep. Looks like we did that. Great. Bolts travel faster and splash blood. Okay, that's nice. Splash blood on impact. We have an angel shop, so we could get rid of some curses here. Ouch. Do I want to get rid of curses, though? Maybe I do. If I go in there, chunks will immediately spawn, and it will be a second chunk, so I'm going to not enter in there actually can you die thank you let's work on getting health immediately getting one extra health here now i just need to find a a heart which there i believe there's some pots back here so we're gonna go ahead and uh i might be too big i might have to shrink myself down i just realized i think i'm covering up a bit too much of the map myself over even a little more it's all right this is honestly the stuff i should do beforehand but i'm just a little lazy just a little this sucks i'm 
trying to stay calm because we do have a heart and I took damage immediately getting it. That sucks. Okay, if we can just keep chunks chillin'. I ran into a worm. Okay, we're not off to a great start with these curses, I'll be honest. Um, dang it. I should have... I feel like I had that one. I'm so mad. Especially because we got freaking... Okay, so that's a glitch. We're at one out of two hearts right now. Um, oh, because we got Rainbow Bunny and Ambrosia, but Ambrosia didn't heal us. Ambrosia is like the most useless random item to get, especially when it didn't even work. Like, it should have worked, and it didn't, so never mind. It's not a glitch, but it is frustrating, to say the least. That's so dumb. It gives me Ambrosia, which is a waste of an item, but it didn't even heal me. It didn't even do what Ambrosia is supposed to do. Oh, man. Don't you just love it? It's okay. I mean, I honestly expect my game to have way more bugs and glitches than this game when it first comes out. So, I honestly... I'm not, like, disappointed. Like, this game sucks. It's like, nope. Makes sense. There's a lot of jank that still happens in my game where I'm like, dang, I didn't even... I gotta fix that. Okay. <laughs> Let's reset here. Let me just... I want to give it another go. I want to get the C skin here. We immediately start with the shop. But no money. Sudden death. I mean, none of these are... I guess... No, none of them are really that good. We have a jack-o'-lantern and grants a chance to obtain an item whenever you destroy a weapon. Interesting. Alright, let's see how it works. Hopefully we can find an... Eh, there it is. First time we're going to do it. I'm going to break it. It was just money. I guess it's just a chance for it, right? Alright, yes, you freaking little rat Pikachu things. The ender of my previous run. Okay, lots of insta kills here. It just takes one blood, yep, directly on me. Do you know how annoying that is? I'm like moving around. I haven't moved this section at all, and the blood just happens to land there. Okay, I'm getting salty. I'm gonna give it another go. I knew this would happen, especially with one HP. This is... It's gonna be rough. It's gonna be bad before it gets good. We start with KO and piercing shots. Okay, honestly, good items. Okay, almost, almost got hit there again. I hate this enemy as well. Give me the heart. Give me the secret. Chance to lob a watermelon. It's pretty good. I like that item. No secret that way. Okay, killed it. There is a bait, a heart in the middle. You know what? I'll do it. Give me the heart. Give me the money. Look at that pro gamer move right there. 240, if we can find our nurse, we'll be set up in a really good position here uh, to get uh, two HP and then hopefully we'll be able to, to fight and deal with chunks with two HP. We found our key, so we can actually l go and fight the boss, which I might do immediately. We'll, we'll, we'll do this area, even though this killed me last time. No, I'm not doing it for that item. Horrendous item. Spike boots deal damage to enemies when jumping on them. Absolutely horrendous item. I mean, you're going to take damage by your hip. It's not worth it. It's such a... To even make it work, it doesn't mean... No, just no. Don't even... Don't even, game. Miss me with that garbage. Okay, he's gonna spawn in here. Unfortunately. Maybe not. I'm just gonna keep doing rooms because I know it kind of resets his timer. As long as you're moving. Okay, we found the boss. So actually, if Chunk spawns, I might just hightail it to the boss. Um... Okay, come on. Oh, come on. All right, this is nice. Some coinage. We are going fast. I'm not, I don't have time to break pots when I know Chunks is coming and I have one health. Okay, we have found exactly what we're looking for. This is how we. This is how we get past the first floor. Right there. Three health. Now we just need a. Uh, I saw it. Don't worry. I'm going back. 
So, okay, ideally, we need to get hearts first, then we'll full clear the floor. We want to take full advantage of this nurse. Um, and we're gonna do that by... Hold on, I have sneeze. <laughs> also, that sounds kind of wrong when I say take full advantage of this nurse. But we want to get health, we want to kill chunks. Once we've done that, we can take our time and walk through all these levels, break all the pots, get all the money we can, and get as much health as we can. And, thankfully, right in time for chunks to spawn, we've created a perfect kiting loop. So I don't... It is gonna take a while, but we are going to be able to kill him here. This is gonna take a long time, actually. Like, a long time. We're only getting one, maybe two, sometimes zero shots off because of how bad the sex gun is. Of course I run into the spikes. That's just... That's just a classic mat move for ya. Okay, yeah, if we get two shots off, we might beat him in the next eight minutes. It's okay. Last run trained me in, in the art of fighting chunks. Or at least in the art of patience while fighting chunks. Because we farmed the crap out of him. I am making sure to... I'm, I'm waiting so I get the right timing here and I can maximize the shots off on him. Two is ideal. One is, is acceptable. Zero is not acceptable. There we go. We might be able to sneak in three, but I don't want to risk it. I missed. Yeah, that one would have been three. Dang. Got him. Okay, he had a lot less health than I thought. Okay, perfect. This really is going to help us here. We're going to take the time before we try and do a new room to find a, an HP in one of our currently explored rooms. We're going to full explore all of these rooms real quick. Make sure we break every single pot. This is just how you got to play this... Uh, it's just how you got to play this first level on Mumba, at least. You got to take full advantage of the first... Otherwise, you can't... Other, the rest of the game, you just can't. It just doesn't work for you. So we can actually afford another heart here. Perfect. Okay, going down the next one with 4 HP is so good. That is so amazing. It's uh, very, very good. Uh, I could see the, us winning this run just based off the fact that we've we've now made it past chunks and we have 4 HP. I, this is going to be a good run. I can feel it. Took us four deaths to get here, but we got here. Um, right. So, like I said, I'm not. I'm gonna try and avoid doing new rooms until I can find a health. I think it's very important that I wait. Yeah, especially when there's like rooms like this that have so many pots in them that could drop a heart for me. Cause there's no point in risking it. Like I already have such a good. Like, run going for me. I'm not... It's. It'd be very dumb to, to throw this away. There's a secret here. There's an item. I know this is horrendous, but there's pots in here. Dang, I was really hoping for a heart. We've broken so many red pots with just no hearts. Kind of sucks. Okay. What about over here? Is there anything in the item room? No. All right, we're running low on the number of rooms we can explore here. Looks like we might be stuck doing rooms that we hate. Oh, once an enemy is marked for death, I thought it was piercing shots. I was wrong with what I thought the item was at the start. An enemy is marked for death. That's probably why we could kill Chunk so fast. He was taking extra damage. Dang, another red pot with no hearts. This is, uh, okay. This is very unfortunate. Check the main room again. We have one last red pot. Come on. I need this. Okay, game hates me. The game hates me. I, that's like nine red pots or something like that with no payout. Hey, little guy. Hi. Blood vial, gory or kills. Eggy maggots, fear yourself, fire your weapons faster. We actually want fear itself. We do. Okay, let's hope... I can just be very careful here with these next few rooms. Okay. Red pot, I would appreciate a payout, but you didn't. All right. Very careful here. I'm not too worried about this enemy. All right. Very careful. 
I'm not super worried. I'm worried. Yeah, there we go. A heart that spawns maybe too close to the spikes, but we got it. There's another heart. We, we see more hearts from enemies than we do freaking bots, honestly. Okay, perfect. We're at three out of four. It's just looking beautiful. Looks like we full cleared the whole floor. So I'm hoping we get at least uh, 85 is what we're looking for from the boss. So that we can um, we can purchase fear itself and get an attack speed. Because we desperately need attack speed. And 14 damage is also nothing too crazy. It's pretty uh, mediocre at best. Okay. Um, that was 286. It's not good. Was there a... I don't think there was a heaven marked on this floor, unfortunately. That is very... Very sucky. Okay. In that case, I am going to go purchase a... Now, we mm, probably not agility. I will go purchase a strength from the shop here. But it is unfortunate that I that we can't get the fear itself. That would have been a great, just a great item. Dang. Was there pots in here? No. Okay. Well, we tried our best. Now, am I going true ending? Probably. I just enjoy the true ending too much to not. I think it's, I'm not playing the whole game unless I go true ending. Even though that's probably the wrong way to look at it. Also, maybe now would be a good time to not do the true ending. Just to prove that you can, it's just clearing the game on any ending. So actually, we'll do this one floor. But I'll go main ending. And just to show you that you can still get the C skins by doing a regular ending. At least I think so. You know what? You know what? Look, I'll do, I'll do my due diligence. Dead Estate Wiki. Okay. Dead Estate Wiki. And you go Characters. And we click on Mamba. Um, that's not right. Okay, just let me see the, the C skins here. Okay, so Mamba, the C skin here. The costume is unlocked by completing a run with every individual curse enabled as Mamba on any difficulty. Completing it. Yeah, just completing a run. So... We don't even have to worry about going true ending. So for the first time in a while, I'm actually not going to worry about going true ending. Weird. Well, let's make the most out of this floor then while we're here. Um, what do I mean by that? I mean, let's um, let's get the item. There's an item, right? There's usually a chest, a treasure chest. There's just not shops. So let's get the treasure chest. That's the only thing that I like about the alt floor is it does give you more items. It helps you for the next floors. Okay. We found our boss, which is awesome. We found a secret, but I've sworn off the cult shop. Oh, you're still alive. Okay. It's not the cult shop. It's a broomstick. I don't care about the broomstick. No secret that way. Okay, interesting floor layout. There's a secret here. Ooh, it had an item. Insurance card guarantees that a doctor office will appear on every main floor. That's pretty good. It means we're going to get at least another health. Oh, man. That's going to be awesome. Especially on freaking Mumba. There's an angel shop. I don't care about disabling my curses, though, in all honesty. I, I kind of like playing with them. Okay, plus they don't really work from what I've seen. It's not worth it. I don't even think I have enough Chunks coins. Fire super... Oh, I'd probably do. Fire super bouncy bullets. Uh oh, Chunks is coming. I'm, it took too long. Kind of a longer floor. That is another thing about the higher difficulties. They just have longer floors uh, to inflate the difficulty. Which, to a certain extent, it does. But it does get to a point where it's a bit much. That's all I'm saying. It does increase the difficulty, but it gets to a point where it's too much. Now, am I, am I gonna kill Chunks here? I would rather not have to deal with him. 
I guess he died pretty quick last time. Oh, almost hit me there. Good thing he stopped to do his hit animation. We're going to try and just kite him in this room. Yeah, we'll kill him. I mean, he's, he's worth some money here. Money kind of screwed us last floor, so we should save up. I told you, I've mastered the art of, of killing chunks. 117, that was pretty good. Good payout. I mean, I've seen 180 before, but I'm fine with 100. All right, yeah, we'll clear up here. There should be an item. I guess there's not an item room. I guess I'm I'm mistaken. I also did not find the cult shop, which strikes me as pretty strange. Um. Okay, well, yeah, I'm out of here, honestly. Okay. Should be an easy enough boss fight. I might as well use this. How much does it do in 17? Maybe this, this actually shoots pretty slow just because of our attack speed. But it can hit him from very far away, which is nice. Okay. Am I not even hitting him? I'm like missing him on half of these shots. Yeah, okay, the sex gun's just way better. Holy crap. Let me break this real quick. Yeah, we're doing like quadruple the damage with the sex gun. Okay, give me this. It's not really going to matter, but we'll go up. <clears throat> I should drink my... I'm like hungry, but I'm like, dude, I haven't even drank my smoothie. So I'm hungry. Oh, man. Let me sit up here. Good posture. Posture check. All right. More of these rooms. This is fine. I don't mind those enemies. Same with these. These are fine rooms. You love to see it. Also a perfectly fine room. This is like almost like a shotgun. I have to be so up close to make sure all the shots hit. I saw the coin that I missed there, but... I'll get it. Nice. We have a weapons merchant, but I don't really care for it. Wow, it's crazy that I actually feel just comfortable at, at four health. Usually I'm like freaking out, but like I feel great. Man, that really goes to show you the, the persisting trauma of last run. Last run we, we were on pretty low health for a while. I feel like I confronted my fears about it. Bonkers, pretty good. Rocket shells. Shotguns move faster. Spirit jar, chance for dead energy. I like spirit jar. And I like bonker. Chunks is gonna come ruin my day. Almost got me. Alright, Chunks. Maybe if I go in a new room. Reset it. New room, reset his timer. Nice. He was banging on the door. You heard him. That's what I'm saying. I think as long as you're clearing rooms, it it delays him. Go back to the beginning here. It was a dead end. <clears throat> Ooh, thanks for the heart. Perfect. This probably leads nowhere, and I was wrong. It leads somewhere. Okay, you got me. Wow, you got me twice. Okay, we're back to kiting chunks normally. Oh, there's a little guy, thank heavens. Okay, I had to leave that room just because it was a weird angle that he started gaining speed at again. We're at three out of four again, that's pretty good. I'm hoping for, I'm waiting for the day where I don't have to kill chunks and we're just fast enough that I can just clear the floor. Cause that would be nice. Ooh, do you see that freaking handbill just crush him? We're doing pretty, uh, we, we're killing them pretty fast, honestly. This just feels so nice compared to Mumba Must Die mode. 
Let me tell you. Although the floor still is a... I'm, I'm gonna say it. It's still a bit too big for my liking. It's just a bit... Like, this whole section I'm going on here, it's a bit too much. So, uh, in the future, I might lower the difficulty. So, there's our boss. Here's a secret. With hand gren- Oh, did I get rid of my other item, though? I don't want hand grenades. I want- So, we're guaranteed a doctor's office, which is- I know I also need a key, but we're guaranteed a doctor's office, so... I'm looking- f I'm looking for that right now. Hate this room. Okay, yeah, just get me out of here. I don't like this. Any anything that like requires depth just bugs me. <coughs> like enemies that throw stuff or you know shoot projectiles at you in the air though going down, it's just annoying. For that throw lob shot. Oh my, this guy. Great example. Give me the key. So we could leave, but like I said, I want the doctor's office. Stethoscope is see enemy health bars, which is nice. I, so I think I might do that. Because I actually really like seeing enemy health bars. So let's let's do this. Not going to touch that. Not with a seven-foot pole. But it would be dope if we found uh, a freaking... Whatever. The, a, a plumbing elevator sewage the sewage system i don't know what the heck it's called the bathroom we found a bathroom elevator basically contain more money that's what it is okay i was wrong dropping one hp will damage every enemy in the room i'm if i am gonna pick it up i'm gonna do what is smart and what i preach which is finish the floor first and then pick it up that's just the smart thing to do okay good shot Um, okay, yeah, looks like the freaking nurse is up here. All right. Forever away. Okay, thank you. We have a lot of money to, to make the nurse pop, honestly. We're going to get roided out here. Especially because we don't really want anything else from the shop. We got what we wanted. So. I guess that is an upside to doing so many, like, levels on a floor. Is that you get way more money. Which, in a way, actually makes it easier. I don't know. This is weird. It's honestly weird. It's a weird balance. Give me the health. And then pump me up on my strength. So, I am. I think I am going to pass. Well. We gotta make this run spicy somehow, right? If I'm just going normal ending, let's make it spicy. Let's go beat the boss, then I'll pick up the toilet paper, and then I'll regret my life decisions for the next five minutes. And then I'll be grateful for the risk once we finally find a bathroom. It'll be great. Where is he? Okay, found you. How many hits can you take, though? Wow, there we go. Died really quick. All right, let's go pick it up against my better judgment. We could take the time to break every pot. Actually, we probably should as well. All right, I'll play the game well. If we take the time to break every pot, we'll get enough money to get one more strength upgrade. Um... From the nurse, which is going to be worth it. That's just hands down. We're already dealing 18. Yeah, it'll be worth it. 330, we're already so close. Just make sure we break all the pots. Okay. I'm just walking back. I know that there's enough there that will be fine. Um, enough pots. Right. Watch there not be enough. Watch the game immediately contradict me. There we go. 
Looking good. It's not going to be enough, is there? Oh, not like this. Okay. Well, we need 11. 11 more. Thank you. Please. We're getting there. Oh, my gosh. We need one more. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, game. You gave me two more. I only asked for one. Actually, you gave me three more. Okay. Do I need a checkup? Uh, yeah, give me the TRT. Give me the... Give me the... I don't even know what other steroids are. I know there's TRT, Trembolone, Tren. I don't know what else. Okay. Take me up. Let's get out of here. Am I nervous? Yeah, I don't like being on two health. But we started the game on one health. And I felt relieved to be on two health. So I'm sure... I'm sure I can make it work. And we're just going to have a little plus sign following us around the whole game. Mumba Plus. Look at us. Mumba Plus. <laughs> break, bots, break pots for extra money. Tip. If you didn't know from the last two minutes, you can do that. Why, do you, why am I sniffling? Uh, I am still a little sick. Believe it or not. Okay, game. Okay, game. Okay. Not cool in the slightest. Thank you for the heart, though. What the freak? Holy crap. Just like that, and I'm like... Okay, that almost hit me too. Freak, I hate some of these enemies. Don't hit me, masks. Okay, give me the hearts. Holy crap. Gotcha. Okay, thank you for dying. Forgot how uh, intense it feels to be on 2 HP. Okay, we're back in it though. Okay, rabbit disappeared. Got him. Key, we got the key. That's a good get. Good get with the key. Still nothing. Alright, we have this slammy boy. I'm glad he didn't land on me because I never see them in time. Nice heart. Probably shouldn't be breaking the red pots. Okay, if Chung's comes, I am going to be... In a predicament. Okay. Thank you. There's our boss door. We can we can leave. Oh, I, I see it though. Oh, let's go. Wait. Oh, I should just go, right? I should just go. I shouldn't I shouldn't look for the for the doctor's office. Yeah, I should just go. Playing it smart, everyone. See you on the flip side. Oh, got an itchy nose. Could have hunted around maybe for a second toilet paper, but not messing around on a all curse run here. We just got to get her done. Tip, don't give up. Okay, thank you. I won't. I was thinking about it, but now I won't. All right, give me the coinage. Thank you. Gold kernel. Let me drop double the coins. Flies rotten nanner. Mmm. Not good. Well, Rotten Nanner's good. It doubles my HP, so. I guess let me double my HP. It's pretty good. 10 is really good. I'd say it was worth it. I was hoping for an attack speed one or a damage one, as I'm sure everyone is when they go down here. But honestly, the HP, I'm happy with it. That's going to really help us on the next floor, so. <clears throat> I am pleased with it. 34 minutes. Yeah, turns out the game is a lot faster when you're not going alt path. Okay. No, I didn't kill him in time. Oh, well. Okay. Found our boss. That's pretty good. No HP yet, though. We're still just on 4 out of 10. Okay. 
Okay. Kind of an annoying room. Wow, you take a lot of hits. Nice. This is pretty doable. I'm like having flashbacks to like being stuck in this area on the last run. That was rough. Okay, sweet. Two hearts is great. Immediately got clipped by that guy. That's sick. I don't know how you're supposed to do a no-hit run. This game is a little too janky for me to attempt the no-hit run. That's just... It's very intense, to say the least. Okay, 3 out of 10. Not good. We have chunks coming for us. Oh, wait. We have a secret? That leads to another... This sucks. All my coins... Okay, we're at 2 out of 10. Let's play this a little smarter here. Let's not throw the run. I'm fine kiting around in here. But if I go down to 1 HP, we gotta start doing the long kite. Alright, I need the anvil to land on him, please. Okay... Not cool. Two out of ten. Not good. We're hoping to find a, a shop. We can just purchase an Ambrosia. But also in here, maybe there's something good. Bolts have a chance to stun enemies. Would have been great to pick up with chunks there. Okay. Nothing. There's going to be a pretty long floor if that secret room's connected to this other side here. Um. Okay. I am not stoked for this room. The stunned enemy was real nice there. Okay, the heart's nice. Feeling a bit better now. Um, well, we don't. On the bright side, we don't have to worry about chunk spawning. On the downside, this floor is freaking too long. Like, I think if you up the difficulty, I don't know. Just, tw just please tweak it, developers. If you, for some reason, you're watching this, just please. Please, please, please. You can up the difficulty in other ways. Like, these enemies deal two damage when they hit you instead of one. Like an Isaac. Or like... You can even still slightly increase... I got hit by something. I think I walked into it, I'm pretty sure. But you can still slightly increase the sizes, but this is a bit rough. But I also get it. I mean, it is hard because now I'm in the position where I'm like, okay, well, I have nothing and I'm sitting here like running around and I can't, you know, and it's true. It does make it hard, but it just, it, it makes it hard in a very annoying way, unfortunately. Lord HP, I have, but you move really fast. No. Worst item in the game. One of the worst items in the game. Okay. Do we think that this is a shop? It was not. Don't die. Don't die. We don't throw this run. Woo! It was not. Okay. I'm just saying, usually I feel like there is a shop sometimes connected to the main um, room there. This is unfortunate. So we, we're at the point now where we just got to start clearing rooms. And be very careful about it. In the hopes that... That we find a shop or, or something. Or a heart drop. Thank you. Oh, now I'm fine. Now I don't care. We're doing great. Just an empty room. Oh my gosh. What a freaking level. Another heart. Very grateful. Now I'm fine. I'm feeling great now. Okay, this is t something about this room's uh, code is is it's too long. Something's not right here. Also, what the heck? That was a lot of coins to come out of that pot. I killed him even though you healed him. What do you? What now, huh? So this connects to the other side. Interesting. Okay, he's dead. All right, there's nothing. 
Wow. That sucks. It's such a long floor. Oh my gosh. Developers, please. Listen to me. Funny. It would just... Oh, we found our shop. And so actually I will avoid just fighting the boss. There's no need to. And we'll just use the bathroom there. And we'll go up after the shop. Cool. Howdy, Mamba. All of those are bad. And if we're just going up, I'll check the next shop for the Ambrosia. No worries. Not even going to think twice about it. Send me. This will be nice because it does give us some more coins. And it does give us some... It has a lot of red barrels. But I feel like red barrels don't drop hearts anymore on harder difficulties. Oh, well. Got to live with it. Excuse me. Got the smoothie burps. Hello, someone there. Bunky syringe. Wow, you're going to give me three of the item I wanted last time. You have such a great sense of humor, game. Let me tell you. Great sense of humor. And one heart. Alright, yeah, just uh, send me. Take me up. Uh, 10 HP should be fine uh, for the Chunks fight here. I mean, I'm not... I'm not that worried. Chunks can be temporarily incapacitated. I want there to be an option, a third ending, where if you shoot chunks right after he transforms, you just kill him. You're done. And that's the ending. Okay. Alright. Nothing too crazy. Give me the gold. Don't care about the grenades. There's a lot of money now. Chance to obtain ammo after taking damage. Does absolutely nothing for me. What do you got for me? Oh, you got two wormies. Compass, sure. Unreliable angel, yeah. Robot head, sure. Ambrosia. Nothing else I can do. Hmm. What is that? I don't know. Wow, ending the game with 1,000. That's crazy. It's because that last laboratory floor was so long, we just grinded the enemies. Oh. Okay, the balcony cleared. Tip, don't give up. How many times has it told me that tip? Think about it. All right. Let's see it, Chunks. Oh, this is going to be the first episode in a long time that I feel like hasn't gone over an hour. And even then, it got close. Oh. Okay. Oh, you got me. Are you gonna drop the bazooka already? Thank you. Thank you very much. You. So are those like chunks intestines or what's up? I'm curious. Look at this. I've been so. What does the normal ending even look like? Have I done this recently? Complete a run with every individual curse nailed as Mumba. You unlock Mumba's C costume. There you go. The critter. The critter. Oh, the whole place gets nuked instead of just the top of it being broken. And Cordelia has no home and her dad is gone forever. Boom, boom, boom. I don't like this end screen either. The other one's way cooler. Oh, I don't think it's longer. Maybe this one doesn't have all the credits. It didn't even give me dot, 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 question mark for the end here. Weird. Oh, look at that. I don't think I've ever seen that on the regular ending. What the heck? What the heck? Do you only get these, like, postcards if you beat it on the real ending? Or, I mean, the first ending? Interesting. 
All right, everyone. There it is. Let's look at the costume here. Mumba. Just a little teddy bear. There it is, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you made it to the end here, need I remind you that my game is also up on Steam here. And I think that you will all enjoy it if you enjoy Dead Estate. But thank you for watching, and stay tuned tomorrow. I can't guarantee I've been playing a lot of Dead Estate, but I have a lot of other series I got to finish and want to finish as well. So don't expect Dead Estate every day. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later.